On Monday afternoon, Austin FC announced that they officially signed Diego Rubio on a one-year deal for around 350k. Before joining Austin FC, Rubio was a free agent and will be joining a third MLS club, which is Austin FC. The previous two clubs he was playing for were Sporting Kansas City and the Colorado Rapids. Diego Rubio has scored around 55 goals in the MLS. The most goals he has done was back in 2022 with 16 goals, and he will be Austin FC's fifth striker in the span of four years. The four strikers before Rubio was Danny Hosen, Musa Gite, Maxi Ruti, and Jair Zares. All those players I talked about have a combination of 24 goals in a span of four years, but like an Austin FC fan like myself and like the rest of y'all, we had a big situation, a big problem finding a true striker since 2021. But how do I feel about the move to Austin FC? For business, it's a good move because we're basically not losing that much for a player like Rubio, 350k for one year deal. Basically, we're not losing that much. It's better than not to risk giving him like a mil, like let's say two or three million dollars for this X amount of years, just like how we did with Emiliano Rigoni. But as a fan point of view, it's a surprise move, I'll say that, but I'm not too hyped or too excited about it. It's mostly, it's a decent move to Austin FC. It's not a big upgrade as well, because we've seen how strikers come to Austin FC, but I said the same thing about Jari Zardes when he came to Austin FC. Getting Zardes in is gonna be a big help for Austin FC in that number nine spot. For me, I was kind of having mixed feelings about this because I didn't like the idea of Zardes coming in. But when you realize he's a veteran, he's experienced, and he likes to score goals, it's going to help Austin FC. I thought, and I was convinced, he was going to score double digits. But like how he did in 2023, six goals. I was really disappointed with what I said. And most of us could say the same thing. We were just let down about Zardes to Austin FC. But again, for business, it's a good thing because again, 350K for one year, it's good. But for a fan point of view, it's a decent move, but not a huge upgrade to our striker problem. Now, the next thing is, is they would be gonna do a better job in 2024 than what John is in 2023. The simple answer to it is a yes, because the bar isn't that high yet for us. From the previous strikers we had of Hosen, Jita, and Uruti, those three strikers will put the bar set low. But at this point, with the two strikers we have, we have less of a headache to worry about because at least those two strikers of Rubio and Zardes have could bring us depth for Austin FC in this 2024 season. So, to be a short answer, yes. Urubio will be a better player as a striker than what Zard is in 2023. Now, the next thing is, how would I see, you know, Rubio? Is he going to start or is he going to be on the bench? I can say we can rotate him with Zardes. Start him some games and put him on the bench and come in as a substitution for Zardes throughout the 2024 season. And also with League's Cup coming in, I don't mind, you know, have a rotational squad and having... Rubio as a main starter as a number nine or as a false nine because we all know how Drewzy is. He likes to play as a 10 and go inside the box and score goals as a number 10 in the midfield. But the thing is, the next question is this, did we dodge a bullet? Because remember what happened last month, we offered, we replayed three and a half million dollars for Miguel Borja and that move, that deal, that offer was rejected. But now with getting the Urubi to Austin FC, did we dodge that bullet? It's too soon. It's too early to tell because Rubio, we haven't seen how he's like with Austin FC. We sure seen him how he was with Colorado Rapids, scoring double digits in one season, but after that, just single digit goals with the Rapids. But hopefully we can that can change around with Austin FC. The thing too is that Miguel Borja, he currently has five goals in three matches with River Plate, and that's the one player we can that's the one player everybody's talking about is Borja to Austin FC. Could he be the illustrious number nine strike we could get in the summer? We don't know yet because there's more players to that that with the whole Harold Borel said, names you would not believe would join the league. So could he be that type of player with the names you would not believe to join Austin FC? But for now, Miguel Borja to Austin FC, we don't know yet because we currently have Diego Rubio, but did we dodge that bullet? I would say it's too soon.
But again, I wanted to give my reaction to the Odo Vuitton SNFC. It's a decent move, but for business, it's good for us. And I wish the best of luck to Neo Rubio, and hopefully he honors and respects the number 14 from a previous player we all loved and dear before he left LA to LA Galaxy. Again, my name is Vanilla Mixon17. Hope you understood this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.